guys, I'm gonna show you how an easy way to do a mural and you don't even need to be an artist. First off, a little backstory for those of you who do not know, I worked over seven years in the nonprofit as a project manager, leading volunteer um, events with anywhere from 20 to three or 400 volunteers. Typically these were beautifications and modifications, uh, usually at schools and within homes. And a part of the project planning I did, we did murals and we would paint them throughout the school to beautify it, uplift the children. And uh, so whenever they returned after summer break, they came into masterpieces. Recently I was doing this exact same thing with my stepdaughters. We moved back to Florida and with their bedroom I let them kind of have fun. And so I figured this would make a great video since I just did it with them that maybe somebody else would like to do it with their kids especially with quarantine going on. And uh, yeah, so I figured I'd make this video. The cool thing about murals or painting um, anything, and it can be a very simple item. Um, I've painted in my own home, I painted little inspirational messages. I did one with a sailboat, very small, simple, all the way to full on big wall murals we've done in the following pro in the projects at schools and stuff like that. The cool thing about doing it in a room that it is very inexpensive and you don't have to buy a bunch of stuff to decorate a child's nursery or bedroom or even your own room. You don't have to clutter it with a bunch of stuff and you simply can just paint a beautiful picture. Another thing is that it is reverse tile, right? So if you're living in a home and you have a nursery, child only stays a toddler a little for a little while then they're gonna go into like the you know chill child age where they're gonna grow out of that nursery stage so it's so easy to just paint back over it do their next phase whether they're into you know my little ponies or whatever and then when they change again and go into teen years you paint over it again and then maybe they're going into doing I don't know, maybe they're into oceans and whales and that kind of stuff and you can paint it and try it again and do something different. Okay, so the supplies that you will need, you will definitely need some kind of writing utensil. Typically, I would say a pencil or a black marker. If it is a pencil, make sure that the wall is smooth. Uh, if it's any kind of rough, I've realized it doesn't really work that well, so the black magic marker always works better. Um, if it is, you could use, if it is a rough wall and you wanna use pencil, one of those carpenter's pencils or construction pencils are very thick and they work a lot better. Of course you want um, your paint brushes, whatever style of paint, depending on how big the mural is, you might even need bigger brushes or the artist brushes. You, of course, need paint, um, and stick around to the end. I can share with you a couple sites where you can actually get free materials. You're gonna wanna drop cloth, some disposable cups, mainly something to hold water. So it could be a glass bowl. We use disposable cups. We usually use paper cups, and so that you can wipe off the brush in between of changing colors. And then also we use the little paper cups in order for the kids to put their uh, paint over into it. Also napkins or like rags where you can um, wipe off the brush where it's not getting too much water and stuff like that in between rinsing it with water. The last thing that you're gonna need is a projector and a laptop. And before you freak out about a projector, I know they can get expensive, but you guys, I have found a projector for $92. Yes, it is $92. Typically in the past, the projectors at my company and that were several hundred dollars. I was so shocked to find this one. I'm gonna link it down below. You guys, at the kids, we watch family movies on this projector now. We just project it up onto the wall. It has the most clearest picture I have ever seen and I cannot believe that it was only $92. I think that 
They're, it's like $102 and they're giving a, a $10 off coupon right now with Amazon. So it comes out to like $92. Game changer. Not only is it good for family time, but it is also helpful with projecting your images up onto the wall. Um, and that is what is going to make this effective. Now I'm gonna go into the steps and the biggest thing is finding your image. I think this above anything could actually make or break your, um, your mural. And so you want to find an image that is very clean line. So there's no discrepancy when you're trying to draw it up on the wall that it's very clean. So I've gotten a little bit better with this over the years. And with the girls, I wanted the oldest one and the littler one if she wanted to, but she ended up not wanting to, to sketch it out with me. So it became a project that her and I both sketched it out. So what I did was, is I Googled images that were just coloring pages because color pages are very clean line, right? So they're only the black outlines there's nothing else on them. They're meant to be colored in between the lines. You guys, this makes the best image for projecting onto a wall. So I ended up creating a folder of several different images. The girls wanted to do a unicorn theme room. So I picked out several different images. They narrowed them down to their top picks and then we painted them onto their walls. So after you have your image, and it doesn't have to be a colored image. I have, I have done images that were full on, already colored in. You guys just make sure that the lines on the image, whatever it is, is extremely clean line. Whenever you start crossing lines or that it could be easily misunderstood, it becomes harder. So the cleaner the lines, the better the image should say, the easier the image. The next thing you wanna do is hook up, hook up your projector to the laptop and then project that image up onto the wall. You want to be able to pull the projector forwards or backwards depending on how big you want and adjust the focus to where you're able to see the image clearly. Step three, you want to trace out the image uh, my stepdaughter and I traced it out all the images going one by one and then we were able to as a family go back in and paint them. Step four, you want to put down a drop cloth making sure that no paint and no accidents happen um, and then allow for the fun to begin. <laughs> okay, so then the creative part comes in, right? So you have the base of the outline. Now you can paint it and color and add things all you want. Our six-year-old daughter, she decided she wanted to add some little extra pieces around her unicorn. So we let her have fun with it and she would be able to be creative outside of her unicorn or anywhere she felt like she wanted to, um, to add her own pizzazz and her own character to it. Whenever we were doing the family big unicorn with the twin, the two sisters, um, we mixed colors, we added, we went outside of the lines and created like a little bit of extra. Mainly this was Rue um, and our oldest and because they love to be very artsy and very creative, but at least they had that foundation to work with by having the image up there in order to make it a beautiful masterpiece. For the free bonus tip about paint, there is a couple websites where you can actually go on and get free items and sometimes they have paint listed on there. One is called freecycle.org and it's typically in your local area and people that are giving away stuff. The other is called trashnothing.com. Another cool tip on getting paint is we use at Home Depot, they have the little sample jars for like um, $3.99 or something like that. And fun, crazy thing, Lowe's was actually doing them for only 99 cents at the beginning of this year. Uh, and it's eight ounce jar, it's perfect. It's enough to do any kind of mural and have extra. 
For our mural, they act, we actually just used artist paints that we had uh, at the house. Another cool thing though at um, Home Depots and all that kind of stuff, they have what's called oops paint, you guys. And typically you can get that stuff for 90% off, way, way cheap. Just look over into the paint section and it's called oops paint. And generally you can ask them, but they'll have like a shelf set up of like oops and messes up that they did. Somebody got a wrong color that they didn't want or something like that. And typically you can get that paint really cheap too. Also check out any kind of like Craigslist and that kind of stuff. People are generally like have leftover paint sometimes and they'll be selling and get it on, getting rid of it on there or try offer up. That's even another good one uh, to check out. Well, that's it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned how you do not have to be an artist in order to create some beautiful murals anywhere you want. Also, a creative, fun way to get the family involved and how it actually saves and helps the planet. Imagine that. Well, until next time, you guys, Stay connected to yourself and to the world around you.